craftbot.ca and I just wanted to do a quick video on how to export a craft room file so that you can email it to somebody and share your files. So to do that, all you have to do is go into file and open or you can just click on my projects then click once on the file you want to share click export and then you can select if you want to save it as a Cricut Craft Room project or a Gypsy project. This allows you to share with um, your own Gypsy. You can save it as this and then when you hook your Gypsy up with Cricut Sync you can then add the file to your Gypsy or you can share your Cricut Craft Room file with a friend. So I'm going to share it as a Cricut Craft Room project so I'm just going to leave that selected and click begin. So it's finished exporting. Click save to save your file. So I click save. I'm going to choose where I want it and click save. Now my file, all I have to do is I just navigate to it as soon as I remember where I put it. <laughs> um, navigate to it and then just like any other file I can simply click on the file and then right click brings me up this and I can send to email recipient mail recipient okay by doing it that way or if you use Gmail or whatever you can just upload it just like you would any other file now when the person receives the file they're going to need to import it so to do that you simply well click my projects again and this time you're just gonna click import find your file and open now it's gonna tell me that I already have a project with that name so if, you, if that happens either rename your project that you already currently have or just go rename your file here and we'll just do that by putting a one there and we'll save it and now it should let me do it so we'll just click that and open and there's my file and there you go there's my reopened file. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you next time.